Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your fourth and final video blog of today for Halloween night, October 31st, 2014 at 8.30 p.m. This is the rarity that there's four video blogs tonight. Usually it's three, but this was a special occasion. There might be some special occasions in November where where I could do four video blogs because it's start of sweeps month in television and it's going to be somewhat sweeps month in blogs where major blogs will be coming in November about certain topics. And I don't have any news to report. And my fourth and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile. And tonight's personality profile is Mr. Hockey himself, Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe is a Hockey Hall of Famer. He's the only NHL player in history to play in five different decades. One of the best hockey players of all time. Very recognizable and stuff like that. An icon in the Detroit area. And Gordy Howe was got the ordeal of Canada in 1971. And he also is a legend in professional hockey. Gordy was born and grew up in Floral, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. And he played hockey when he was eight years old. Started to play hockey when he was eight years old. He grew up with myodyslexia as growing up as a learning problem. And he also was over six feet, feet tall at 13 years old and doctors thought he had a calcium deficiency so he had to do a lot of chin, chin ups when he was in, a teenager. He actually got a tryout by the New York Rangers in, when he was 15 years old but he didn't make the Rangers. He left home at the age of 16 to pursue a hockey career. At the age of 17 the Detroit Red Wings signed Gordie Howe and he was originally going to go on the Junior A team, but usually the Junior A team had older hockey players, like 18, 19 years old. So Gordie Howe played for the Omaha Knights in the USHL for one year, and he was pretty good. Gordie Howe made his NHL de debut on October 16th, 1946, at 18 years old, right winger, and he played for the Detroit Red Wings for 25 years. That's amazing. And he made 22 All-Star games while playing for the Red Wings. 22 seasons, he scored at least 20 goals. And he, 12 times he was on the first NHL All-Star team. Nine times he was on the NHL second All-Star team. And four times he was a Stanley Cup winner. 1950, 1952, 1954, and 1955. Six times he won the Ross Trophy as as the leading scorer in the NHL. Six times he won the Hart Trophy as the league's MVP. First National Hockey League player to record 1,000 points, and he broke Gordy. I mean, he broke the NHL second player to score 500 goals. He broke Maurice Richard's the Rockets record of most goals scored in 1963. He was a he retired from the Red Wings in 1971, holding many NHL records for most goals, most assists, and most points. He number nine was retired by the Detroit Red Wings, and he went on to become an executive for the Red Wings in. 1971 when he retired and he was inducted into the Hockey of Hall of Fame in 1972 but Gordy got bored of being being like an executive for the Red Wings and he said he's he really wanted to play hockey again he has a wrist problem but he got it fixed through surgery and in 1973 Gordy Howe at the age of 45 returned to play hockey for the WHA with his sons Marty and Mark Howe for the Houston Aerials. And he was good for playing for them at his advanced stage. He even won MVP in the WHA in 1974. And he 
won two championships with the Houston Aeros in 1974 and 1975. He, pl he played for them into 1977 when the team was going bankrupt and there was rumors he was going to return to the National Hockey League with his sons Mark and Marty and one of the teams that was going to get him were the Boston Bruins. This was in Gordie Howe's book and they were so close to a deal. I think something kind of tied, tied up the deal and something like that. But if somehow Gordy and his sons Mark and Marty were to sign with the Bruins, this is when when this when they were the lunch pail gang, I think they could have probably won the Stanley Cup in nineteen seventy eight that year because Mark and Marty were very talented and Gordy House still had a lot in the tank, but probably Gordy Howe would have had a wear a different number because number nine for the Bruins was Johnny B Music. Maybe he would have wore 99 or stuff. But that that fell through at the last minute. Gordy and Mark and Marty went to the New England Whalers of the WHA. And they played two more years in the WHA and to that was merged with the NHL. And New England Whalers were rebranded to Hockey Whalers. And Gordy Howe played one more season in the NHL. And he retired at the age of 52, he played incredibly 26 seasons in the National Hockey League. He holds the record for most games played in the NHL history, second in all time with goals and and uh, third in points and stuff like that. And he played 32 years. He's the only in professional hockey. He's the only player in in NHL history to play in five different decades. After um, Gordy retired from the NHL, he became a goodwill ambassador to hockey all across the United States and Canada. He's won so much awards. He trademarked the name Mr. Hockey and his wife, Colleen, trademarked the nickname Mr. Mrs. Mrs. Hockey. Amazing. He's appeared in so many like charity games, alumni games for the Detroit Red Wings and the Heels and hockey. Gordy Howe's been going full steam ahead from his retirement for hockey for years and years and years. And but like in 2009, his wife Colleen passed away of a form of dementia called Pitt's disease, and Gordy started to suffer from some like dementia the past couple of years. He appeared at the 2014 NHL Winter Classic and was still in pretty decent shape but this past summer he's been getting he's been suffering from the match having some minor strokes and stuff and this past week Gordy Howe suffered a major stroke and he's he's the prognosis is the same godly optimistic and somehow I think Gordy Howe might recover from the stroke because he's like 80s. He's, he's he's determined and stuff like that, even though he's at an advanced age. I think he's he has a good shot of beating it. And Gordy Howe was just a physical player and a tough player in his days in the NHL. And they call and they have a thing called the Gordy Howe, Gordy Howe hat trick. The Gordy Howe hat trick is when you score a goal, an assist, and you have a fight. One single game. That's the Gordy Howe hat trick, and a lot of players accomplish that feat many times. And prayers to Gordy Howe right now, and praying for Mr. Hockey to get better and make a full recovery. I think he's going to make a full recovery. I, I just have a feeling he will. And that's about it on that. That's a good video blog I did. And I hope you've been enjoying these video blogs, Facebook, Friends, and YouTube followers. I'll be producing three more of them tomorrow. My subjects up for tomorrow are the top 10 greatest professional referees of all time. I have a second one I'm doing is the NHL All-Star Game Passe. And the third and final video blog subject of the night will be a personality profile. And that personality profile is going to be the late, great... Baseball Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett. And don't forget Facebook friends, YouTube followers. I want questions, please. Send me them private message. And they'll be answered on a future video blog coming in late November 
or December and there's a sweep smudge for video blogs. You don't know what's going to be on these blogs and you don't know if the Prime 9 of Julie Blatt and Local News 6 who has a nice legs and a great smile. Heidi Lee Pratt who has the nicest legs in the world and the greatest smile in the world. Janelle Tobin, Crystal Pistol, the Patel last week, no boss. Donna Wollegaard, Tony Ramos, Bruce Cronin, want to put a wager on that, Richie, and Angelo's video blogs might be coming in November. You just don't know. And it, it, it might. So, good night, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.